Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Today we will be talking about uh, features, latest features of APM that is 23.1. Uh, uh, I'll be covering like mostly 10 points in this. Uh, this is just for interview purpose. Mostly I have covered uh, points of uh, record because records are like widely used and uh, there are so many questions coming on record. So the first thing is, first thing we are talking is centralized and simplified record security. Here what happens is under the security section, uh, there is uh, one more subsection has been added. The name is views and action security. In that it is so simplified that it, is, it will ask like uh, who can see it and when they can see it. The thing is, uh, it is just uh, choose users found in group users found in users or group field or combination of both do, both the two then specify when the view appears ensuring that only right users see the right view at a right time this is first point second point is generate multiple record action at once so earlier you might have seen we will be creating like create update and delete operations uh, one at a time now it will allow you to create all three at a time you need to select it all the three and you need to click on the button then it will be auto all the three will be automatically created at once the third point we are covering is uh, a recorder uh, like record type configuration with drag and draw and drag and drops earlier how we will be clicking on like up sign and do down side to move it move any fields up and down up and down now we will have drag and drop option we can select it and we can drag it up wherever you will like left your cursor it will be there the field will be there so now it is like uh, like more easy and uh, uh, you don't need to spend like too much time on uh, clicking on uh, like arrows up and down uh, here like one uh, fourth point we will be covering on uh, make more database changes directly from uh, record type here the first point when you use uh, like codeless data modeling to edit the name of existing record field or delete it from record type uh, it will be automatically ref reflect those changes in the source type means it will be automatically reflected in your database when you add a relationship to your record type you will get uh, uh, like configure that common field as a foreign key in the database so you can uh, be confident in your uh, database integrity here in this only the third part like is speaking on relationship uh, when you add user type field to your like data structure you will generate a relation uh, like they will generate an uh, apn will generate a relationship to users record type so you can uh, seamlessly uh, reference user data fifth point i'll be covering is we have like more filter options in aggregation custom record field just an example when you add multiple filter condition against one to many data you can now select the and all operators uh, this way uh, uh, you can be uh, sure uh, you are only aggregating one of the filled values that meet all the specified conditions sixth point i'll be covering is fine tune your uh, query results from a query editor so whenever we are using like that query editor generally uh, like it has provided three sections and data total count and all features so reducing the uh, minimal adjustment you need after generating your uh, queries by uh, specifying whether you want the data total count or all query properties so here uh, you will you will get like a radio button like which one you want whether you want only data you want like to only total count or you want the whole query you will have an option now no need to do uh, like dot data in the query or uh, something like that here only you will get an option click on the radio button you will get, get the whole thing uh, desired thing seventh one i'll be covering uh, like enhance sync status like monitoring there is a separate page for that 
like it is it eases to view details about your most recent sync record type on a record sync status page there is a separate page for this they, they, they made it now the page sort like uh, recent synced uh, record type at the top by default uh, you can also uh, see the exact date and time of your uh, last sync as well as the total number of synced row at a glance the eighth point I'll be covering is navigate your interface expression uh, with S. Uh, the thing is, uh, now it is like uh, very useful. So if you are moving, uh, uh, like there are three sections. One is code section. Co you are coding something. And the second second uh, is uh, your uh, rule inputs. And the middle one is like uh, whatever you are coding. Let's say you have a drop down. So that drop down, if you are putting your cursor over there, whichever place you are putting your cursor it will be uh, your cursor will be at the like uh, where, where the code is where the exact code is it will show there so uh, navigate your interface uh, expression with ace simplify click an interface component in the edit tab of expression mode and uh, like it will highlight the corresponding expression in the expression editor so this is like uh, made it very easier Ninth point I'll be covering is a reminder to add objects in the package. Or like let's suppose you made a package. You have added like two, three objects in that package. And after that, what you did is you modify a few objects. So whenever you open that package, it will write a message like you have recently modified a few, few, few objects. So kind of like it will remind you whether you have to add few new things or not and uh, the 10th point uh, I'll, uh, I have written is select from uh, like uh, we have earlier we have a grid so in, in grid we do not have any option whether it should be long medium short kind of like thing now we'll, we will have an option so the 10th point I have written is like select from uh, like more grid height option for read only and editable grid to select the height uh, height that best display your data it should be like medium large long kind like thing so uh, this is it uh, uh, this is just 10 points i have covered just for the interview purpose so uh, thank you we will meet up in uh, new videos